I'm standing with my boy Wayne, PC and Y. What's up? What's up? We what's out up? here in front of Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Wayne, why are we out here tonight? Well, we, uh, we, we out here inspiring the less fortunate, feeding them, hanging out with them. What's up, everybody? Stefan from Mod to Fame. Uh, it's about nine o'clock, and we are heading down to NYC to feed the homeless with my buddy Wayne uh, from PCNY. This is something that is really, he's really, really passionate about, which is um, helping those who are less fortunate. He's really, really taken on um, the initiatives of feeding the homeless and he's done it across multiple states uh happening right now in new york it started out there and in la as well as um other cities um across the u.s so it's really really cool what he's doing and volunteers is how he makes it happen so we're gonna go down here uh eugene is in the ferrari i'm in the porsche the reason why we're driving two separate cars is because we were coming from two separate places but uh, yeah, we're gonna go give a hand, uh, give out some food, and we're gonna take you with us. Maybe we can ask Wayne a few questions too about his love for you know helping out the homeless. If you don't know, PCNY is a concierge service. That's what they're known for, as well as they have some of the most awesome rallies. Um, I can't wait to join the next one. The next one, unfortunately, is gonna be in California, um, but. I can't wait for the next one in New York to take the Porsche on the rally or maybe the Corvette. I don't know. But either way, you guys will be with me. But yeah, down to the city we go. You couldn't do that. I had to put it in the box. I'm not carrying mine because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna get those things. Oh man. Stuff in here, Mod the Fame, standing with my boy Wayne, PCNY. What's up? What's up? What's we up? out here in front of Madison Square Garden. 
Wayne, why are we out here tonight? Well, we, uh, we, we out here inspiring the less fortunate, feeding them, hanging out with them. It's one of their birthday, actually, and uh, feeding them some good food from some good friends. The angel, like right there, just a very, very big, very big supporter, very, very big supporter of the of the of the cause, actually. And uh, that's why we're here, just to give a little faith to them, you know, bring them up a little bit versus just walking over them all the time or just throwing sandwich bags at them, you know, a little more. So let me understand, we out here feeding the homeless. Homeless, the less homeless, fortunate. Less fortunate. Not, it doesn't have to be homeless eat. Believe me, there's okay. a lot of people paycheck to paycheck that can't even afford a Snickers bar. And I'm learning that from being out here, so. So you got a, you got a big business, concierge, man. You all over the U.S., different parts of the world, man. Yeah. Why do you do this? It's something that just struck me from starting to do the rallies I was doing and I was doing charity events. To be specific why I do this, after I did my book bag drive rally, my first one, people kept asking for another rally and I said, you know what, I'll just keep doing charity. So the next one was the turkey drive. Right. On that turkey drive, the first one, um, there was a lady, wasn't homeless, we gave her a turkey, we gave out 700 turkeys that day, we were throwing them all over the place, I not remember. throwing them in that way, you were there. I remember, yeah. um, when we were in Harlem, this one lady, the, her reaction to this turkey, she started crying. She was like, oh my God, I can't believe this. I didn't think I was gonna have a turkey on my table. And I just reacted like, damn, this is $20 turkey. She's right, definitely right. not homeless. Right, right, and, it, and, it, and it really like took her so much and it, it struck me. I happened to be right there from all the hundreds of people we're giving the turkey soup. I happened to be there for that. So when that was over with, which was, that's in November, the end of November, I said, I can't keep doing rallies and reaching out to my friends to support and sponsor. Cause you know, it's not fair to them. Plus it's getting cold. I can't keep organizing these rallies. It takes a lot of me. I said, right. I gotta get out there and just get one-on-one -on -one with people, one-on-one. -on -one. I'm gonna start with one person. I had no intention of growing it even like this. That just happened after I started. One person, I grabbed a nice hot meal from a steakhouse, Ricardo's uptown. Wow. And I searched through the city. It was like December 20th, maybe. Maybe it's 22nd. I searched through the city. I found the guy sleeping in a stairwell. Brought him, it was lobster, it was lobster and uh, ravioli. Wow. And I gave it to him, liked it, put it on camera, you know, hey, you know, anybody, any of my friends that ever out to eat, grab an extra meal, give it to somebody, or your leftovers, just give it to them, they need it. Right. The next day I went out with a bunch of pizza pies, just walking around the city, it was freezing. I mean, it's freezing at this point. One guy gave the pizza pie too, he was like, wow, this is my first piece of hot food in nine months. Something I never heard before. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Then the next day again, pizzas, you know, I was just kind of all over the city. I didn't know where to find, you know, people and, then I started noticing people wouldn't even come out of their covers for the pizza because it was so cold that it wasn't worth, the food wasn't worth it for them to take their blanket off to take the food in. So it's just like, man, this is so bad. They won't even eat because they're so cold they can't even eat. And uh, from there, I moved around the city. I finally ended up over here. And uh, I, apart, I used one car. Here? Over uh, a year over, now, Over right? a year. Yeah, wow. Jan December, Jan January is a year over here. We were doing it every day here. And uh, actually, by doing it every day for a whole month, one of the um, homeless people, actually, her name is Charmaine, the first person I met, actually, uh, she actually told me to stop coming every day. She said, you know what, it's not fair to you. Don't burn yourself out. We appreciate that you do this, but don't come every day. Tone it down. And for a homeless person to tell me that, and you know. Right. And then on top of that, I can go on, what kept me inspired, people started DMing me out of nowhere and sending money, a little bit, $50 here, $100, random strangers. And each little 50 or 100, 150 I got was just like, wow, like I don't even know this person. Right, right, right. And they, they love what I'm doing and I know it must be good. And then each, each little donation inspired me. Then a restaurant downtown, Talsa, reached out to me as a Greek restaurant in Tribeca. I have a ton of treats and food for you. Come down and get it. I'm like, damn, this is like, this is the inspiration behind me. Like, wow, I'm not the only one that really likes to do this and they're feeling it. And then uh, just kept going. And then one day this little kid donated 1500 out of nowhere. I'm like, wait, I called him up. Little kid, little 22 year old kid from California, I said, hey, I think you made a mistake. You probably meant to do 150, right? He's like, no, 1,500. And I was like, oh man, this, this gotta keep going. And then it just grew to this, and this is where we're at now. And this is my brother-in-law, Milo, right here. A random that showing up, that's what's up. That's what's Mike, up, what's up, baby? What's going on? And uh, yeah, so uh, that, it's just turned to what you see here. Just tons of great people. Probably I met the best people ever. The volunteers that come down here, I'm not lying, and you know so the business I'm in. Rallies. Fuck the rallies. The rallies is cool. I love those guys in the rallies. Different story. Let me not say that. Let me stop. 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 Love the guys in the rallies. But those are also my friends. My, you know, like I'm talking about straight up people I met just because of volunteering and just right. because of charity. Right. And just the just the the, the real people, the realness and, and genuineness. I've never met people like this in my life. And uh, it's been amazing. And it just brings a bunch of people together. These homeless people don't look the same as when I met them a year ago. They're lively. They look forward to these days. And they tell me, listen, we go to the programs. We, we go to the little churches and this. There's, they say there's nothing like this in their whole life. These people have been homeless six, seven years. And that just keeps me more inspired. I mean, I've talked a lot, but I'm just letting yeah. it all out. Because I think you're going to do something I'm great with this. I'm going to get so. back to it, man. I know no, you're I'll busy. keep talking. I'm just saying. Yo. I know I talk. I hope I didn't talk too much.
Yo, man, blessings for what thank you, you do. Thank you, thank you, Yo, thank you, thank you. Keep at it, man. And thank you, thank you. I, I was listening. It's me. It's everyone. I just, I just ignited it. I pulled the trigger, and it's just everyone. Everybody around here, everybody you see, everybody just shows up. And they come from all over, and and it's just, that's what's it. That's it. Next year we're at Broadway Auto again, Turkey Drive. We have to take over the gas Let's station go, this time. Like go, the next time the gas station, we're gonna be so big next year. It's not even funny. And we're doing three states, same time: Cali, Miami, and uh, New York. Same time for Turkey Drive. At the Drive. same time. Same time. Same delivery day. Same everything. We're gonna do it all together. And here come the cops. They've been cool right. for you. They've you're been already, cool for over a year. Let's you're see if they're so cool. First. This is crazy tonight. All right. You're already here first, dude.